I want to take this time to go over uh, some of the problems from Quiz 7, which was, again, just the lab on Lewis structures. So, hydronium, H3O+. Plus. Uh, always start by writing down the number of valence electrons. Oxygen has six. Hydrogen has one, but there are three of them. And then we have the charge. There's a positive one charge, so we're going to remove an electron. So minus one to our electron count. So we'd have nine minus one, eight electrons. Electrons are negative, so a positive charge means we remove one from uh, the total valence. Eight electrons. Hydrogen can never be the central atom. So oxygen is our central atom. Okay. For connectivity, we need single bonds between the oxygen and each hydrogen. Two, four, six electrons. When you've drawn your single bonds and you have electrons left over, that means you either need lone pairs or double bonds. Hydrogen cannot form double bonds. So we put a lone pair on the oxygen. That gets us to zero. Two, four, six, eight. All of our electrons have been used. And oxygen is obeying the octet rule. Hydrogen does not obey the octet rule, but oxygen must. And in this case, I didn't ask it explicitly, but formal charges. We know that there must be a formal charge somewhere in this molecule uh, because the, there's an overall charge, positive charge, and it's coming from the oxygen. We have six valence electrons minus, and again, there's a couple ways to, to, to do this. The way I like to do it is graphically. One, two, three, four, five. So two electrons from the lone pair, three from the six that are being shared. That gives me five. Again, one, two, three, four, five. So six minus five, of course, is plus one, and that's the charge of hydronium. So without a doubt, uh, being systematic in the electron count is the valence electron count is critical and then analyzing the structure does it obey the octet rule uh, do I have you know lone pairs uh, do I have a double bond that I should or should not have uh, so again and formal charge uh, formal charge for hydrogen hydrogen brings in one valence electron it's sharing these two so one minus one is zero. So the formal charges of all the hydrogens are zero. The formal charge of oxygen is plus one. That's why the molecule has a plus one charge. And uh, I will uh, post the answer key uh, for this sheet on D2L, but I wanted you to see a worked problem. And I'll put more work problems than I have other videos that I've made in the past. Uh, but I cannot stress this enough Watching me do this is not the same thing as you solving the problem yourself. So if you get stuck on something, let me know, uh, email or come to office hours or ask in class or lab. But you have to keep practicing because once you get it, it it'll be a, a, something where you can do any Lewis dot structure. But when you're struggling, it's very easy to just watch somebody else do it and then nod your head and say, oh, okay, I get it, but not really. So. Uh, just, just keep that in mind because we will be getting into more advanced aspects of chemical bonding starting next week.